So hello and welcome back everyone. You're watching Student Khabi. And since we were with the series of all the entrance examinations, today we have come up with K Math Kerala. Press the bell icon. Never miss an update from Student Khabi. K Math Kerala is a getaway examination, admission examination for all the students who want to study in various management schools across Kerala. So this examination is conducted by Cochin University of Science and Technology or the Kerala University of Fishery and Ocean Studies that is also known as KUFOS and the supervision is under the Admission Supervisory Committee This KMAT examination has already gone through the first cycle the being the examination in December and by mid of December all the results were already out Now we are talking about the second cycle of the examination for which the registrations would be held in the starting of february and the examination would be in the mid of may somewhere the kmat kerala is held various times in just one year so talking about the second cycle the tentative dates are already out by 1st of february the registration would start for the second cycle and by 17th of may you will have your examination of kmat by kmat kerala examination uh, you can go for studying mba pgdm or the mca courses and the eligibility criteria here are that all the candidate must complete their three minimum three years of graduation program and all the students in general category have to score minimum 50% aggregate to go under this examination whereas for reserve category students this is 45% aggregate in their final examination even there is a relaxation for all the students who are studying in their final year they can also go for the kmat examinations during the time of admissions uh, finally and that time you have to give your certificates of graduation to prove that you were into the final year when you while you were giving the examination so basically now you all must be thinking ki how is the exam pattern and how is the question paper given so now finally this is a pen and paper round that you have to go to the assigned center and give the examination the question paper consists of 180 questions which you have to complete in 150 minutes or 2 2 hours and 30 minutes the final duration in that these 180 questions are divided into four different sections each having four options for the answer that means the whole question paper is objective type in these four sections are english reading language and comprehension the second is quantitative aptitude third is data sufficiency and logical reasoning and the fourth one is general knowledge and business scenarios these are the four different sections that you have to go through in total 180 questions for each right answer you will be rewarded four marks whereas for the wrong answers you will have to go for a negative one marks that is one marks would be deducted there is no negative marking for unattempted questions now the total scoring marks the maximum scoring marks of the whole exam is 720 But now we talk about the cut off of for the KMAT examination for general students it is 107 marks total out of the whole question paper whereas for SCBC category students it is 72 marks and for lastly the reserve category SC and ST students it is 54 marks to pass the examination and now the very important point now you all would be thinking what is the application fee So the application fees for the KMAT examination for the general category students is thousand rupees, whereas for the reserve category SC and ST category candidates it is seven hundred and fifty rupees. If you have any doubts, questions, or queries, you can ask in the comment section below, or you can check out the website, the official website of KMAT examination. And until then, mm -hmm. you can like the video, do share it with all your friends who are planning to give the KMAT examination. Do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we post videos.